Greetings, YouTube. Happy Thursday. I almost forgot what day it was. Uh, sorry in advance if the audio is not the highest quality. I am currently on vacation in Dallas, Texas, ready to attend the NFL draft because one of my former students won free tickets. Lord knows I could not afford it if it wasn't free. Uh, and so I am recording this from my laptop, and I guarantee you there's going to be a buzz in the background. So again, I apologize. Also, before I go any further, special thanks to Rudy Roy, one of my subscribers, donated $40 to try to upgrade this 10-year-old laptop I'm recording off of, and uh, we're already up to almost $100 for that, and really, once I uh, am able to, to get enough, I'm going to get a desktop and, and start doing some, uh, finally, some streaming. So, thanks again to everybody who has donated again. Rudy, thank you as well. Okay, so today's video is about something that's so shady, I can't believe it. This was sent to me by one of my subscribers who honestly is so uh, upset about this that this is the first time that he has said that he actually is considering quitting the game himself which is crazy because the infinity dungeons are supposed to do the exact opposite they're supposed to encourage you to be excited about new game content not discourage you into wanting to quit the game but the reason why this is such an issue is because we have had in the past uh, certainly cutoffs that separate certain groups of players uncollected versus uncollected of course, the, the most obvious one is free-to-play versus people who spend money, but that one, you know, that, that occurs in basically every game, so it's not really unique to MCOC. But we have discovered, thanks to this forum post from the Devil 666 which definitely sounds like Mephisto, that your PI can determine the maximum amount of infinity dust you get in the dungeons. So this actually means... You could have a 5,000 PI, have beaten Act 5, have 100% Labyrinth of Legends, and still you are at a higher disadvantage than someone, especially like maybe a bigger spender who just has a higher prestige with the overall top 5 champs in their roster, and the game is punishing you and not giving you the same ability in the final milestone to collect as much, which means you don't have as much of a chance to get the top prize, which this month, as we already did a video on, is that O2 rare, sexy, juicy, whatever you want to call it, zesty, five-star uh, awakening gem. So you can see that uh, in this post, if we scroll down, the, uh, the top milestone is 21,400. And this one is 18,200. So we have the case. Now, of course, it's not the biggest difference, but it's still a difference, right? We have the case where it's about a 3,000 infinity dust difference, which who knows, that could be all the difference is at the end of the month between whether or not somebody does get that five-star awakening gym. And so, you know, people have commented on this forum post about this. Uh, it's based on prestige. We think the cutoff is around 6,000. And so this person happens to be at 5,404, and they do not have that 7,500 milestone. So... It is a load of bull. It's shady. It's questionable. Why would they do this? Why would they actually put another separation between players in order to compensate them for something that everybody should be excited about? They should want to do the opposite. They should be giving out Infinity Dust in every kind of event as much as possible to get people the incentive to play the game as much as possible. But now all they're doing is pissing people off. And What's really, really sad for Kabam, and this is probably the worst of it all, is they're pissing off the players that have been loyal to them for years. These are level 60 players who have done everything and have probably put in hundreds, if not in some cases thousands of their money into the game. So this is shady beyond shady to have your prestige determine infinity dust. And I hope that Kabam sees these forum posts and wakes up because this is just unacceptable. It's, like I said, very shady and it's just not something that the game needs right now. This is supposed to be their way of starting to clean up the mess that was the month of April in terms of all of the screw-ups they have. There are still so many bugs in the game that they have not addressed or fixed because it is not advantageous to them to do that. Of course, if there are bugs that are advantages to the players, somehow those get fixed overnight. But regardless... Uh, Cannot believe that I'm having to do a post on this, but I wanted everybody to be aware, if you have less than 6,000 prestige, and right now that's about what everyone's saying the cutoff is, 
you are actually at a disadvantage to get less Infinity Dust, even if you complete all of the milestones every day in the Infinity Dungeons. So, what do you think about this? Comment below, let me know. Again, I apologize for what surely is probably a hiss in the background of my voice, but uh, who knows, maybe we can get this laptop upgraded in the next month or so, and I won't have to worry about that hiss ever again. Thanks for watching YouTube, and good luck in the Infinity Dungeons and everything else. I hope you get to collect as much Infinity Dust as possible, and uh, shame on Kabam for forcing players who have been so loyal for so long to, to be at a disadvantage just because their prestige is a little bit lower than others.